guys welcome back to another college week in my life so this week is going to be a really stressful week because it is week four of the quarter if you don't know uc santa cruz runs on the quarter system the quarters are 10 weeks so week four ish five ish is usually midterm week so i have a lot a lot a lot going on this week it's going to be a really really busy week just to lay everything down i have my first math exam on friday i have my holocaust and the arab world midterm exam do Sunday at midnight but it's kind of one of those things where it's like a take-home midterm exam and we have to write two essays and then do this other like free response section so I'm gonna be working through that through the week as well as editing that as I go and then I just have an assignment that I need to get done for my political writing class I don't think that has an official midterm but we just kind of have this like paper due and then for my career internship class we'll see what I need to get done that class is is half the time I forget that it even exists. I'm looking hella pale right now because I've started wearing sunscreen because I've had an epiphany that I need to wear sunscreen. I don't know why it took so long for me to realize this, but the reason why I never wear sun, never used to wear sunscreen in the, in the past is I hated how sunscreens like give such a nasty like white cast and make me look so pale. Even though I got this like Neutrogena one that said that it had no white cast on it, that it was completely sheer, it still gives me very much a white cast, especially in the morning. So just bear with me on that. This is today's OOTD. My sweatpants are from Walmart. They're like a 2XL and they have a drawstring. So I just like tighten it, but it's so, they're so comfortable because they're literally like walking in a bag. Like they're just so comfortable, especially like in the winter time. So these are from Walmart, men's section, super cheap. You you guys can find things for like a steal there. This Rolling Stones crew neck is actually from H&M. I cropped it quite a bit ago. And then my red scarf is from Veiled Collection. I've been listening to Ninth House this morning and I think I'm gonna go have breakfast now. just got out of my math Zoom and I'm overwhelmed to say the least. We have so, so much work that we need to get done this week. She like added more work. It's midterm week, by the way. I think I said that just to give you guys some context. So context. So there's like a lot, you know, going on this week and my math professor assigned, I wrote it all down, practice problems, like a practice test, this like study guide and a worksheet. What else? I think there's all due on Friday. And it's like a lot, like that's like triple the work that we usually get every week because we usually just have one worksheet due at the end of the week, which is a long worksheet. It's like a week's worth of work compiled into like one worksheet and then one short discussion post. So I have a lot going on. I also have my Holocaust midterm that I really am stressed about because that class is just a lot too. It's an upper division class and I'm not used to like upper division writing and I'm just like learning, trying to grapple with like a lot of like the new expectations that I've never been familiar with in the past. So I don't know, this is gonna be a stressful week. I just have a lot going on. So um, I just, it's Monday, it's all hitting me kind of in like a wave um so i'm stressed out because this is all just i'm all just realizing now that i have all this work to do but we're gonna get it done my plan is to just grind it out today and get as much done today as possible so then the rest of this week is not nearly as stressful and this weekend i'm really gonna take the time to relax and just like do self-care and like watch a ton of like movies and tv shows to reward myself because this is gonna be a crazy week
I finally finished working on my math for the day, so I think I'm gonna go on a walk. I just need to stretch my legs and get in my steps because my back hurts from sitting at my desk like for hours. It's literally been hours trying to work through all of these assignments and I just need a break before I get to the later half of my to-do list when I get back. I love going on walks kind of in the middle of the day and just like listening to a podcast or listening to my audiobook, taking a little bit of a break from things so I've been going on like half hour walks in the middle of the day and then when I get back I have a lot of work to do for my holocaust in the Arab world midterm as well as we are having our lecture on Tuesday this week instead of Thursday for a synchronous lecture so I need to get the readings prepared for that as well as I think she wants us to watch a movie called Free Men so we're going to do that at the end of the to-do list and if I finish everything on my to-do list today I want to reward myself by editing this week's video Video, this Sunday's video. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like a raging storm outside. Like the trees and everything are going crazy. So I reached into my bag to pull out my phone to listen to my audiobook and I realized that I forgot my phone at home. We're gonna walk back home, grab my phone so that I can actually listen to an audiobook because as much as I would love to be the person that can go on walks and just bask in nature, I'm not. I need something to stimulate my mind. I think I'm gonna put on a warmer sweatshirt too because I'm so cold and there's no way I'm gonna last this like half an hour walk with just this like flimsy crew neck. As I was walking in, my Amazon package was delivered, so that was kind of perfect timing. I ordered these yesterday. I ordered the Avatar The Last Airbender, the Promise bind up. It has parts one, two, and three all bound up, and it's in the paperback format. And then I also got the search. I'm so excited to finally be able to read these. I've been waiting for them to come out with like bind ups of the comics all together because I don't want to have to buy each separate part. At first, for a while, the only thing they had was the hardback on up ones, but those were straight up $50. And then I saw that they finally came out with them in paperback. And these comics are basically following the events after the show ends. So I've actually read bits and pieces of some, some of the comics before, but I've never like read them straight through. So I'm going to go ahead and read all of them. There are also Legend of Korra comics, so I'm going to read those as they come out. But I'm really excited to read these in the month of February. I saw these at Barnes & Noble's yesterday and I was gonna buy them and then I realized they're cheaper on Amazon. Cool. I'm gonna go put on a sweatshirt and continue my walk. Take two. This time I have a sweatshirt. Pretty out here. Sunsets in like six minutes. I just finished my 9 a.m. discussion section for math, and now I think I want to have breakfast because I didn't have time to eat before class started. I woke up like with just enough time to do a quick workout, shower, and then hop on the Zoom. A lot of work going on for math. We just spent the entire section working on our weekly worksheet for this week. I have a lot to do on my agenda for today. I have a lot of Zooms to go to today. I have two Zooms like back to back later tonight. So I'm not looking forward to that because I always get really exhausted by the end of that second Zoom. Here is today's outfit of the day. It's been a while since I've worn my cotton on jeans because I've been wearing sweats a lot as you guys may know but i felt like wearing them again so these are really cute they're like they're uh wide leg jeans super super comfortable and then this top i'm not sure where it's from because my sister gave it to me me with my two mason jars Fuck. signing into my political writing zoom i'm just waiting for her to start the meeting i guess Welcome everyone. So we're gonna kick off with a free ride like usual. 
So I have this new smoothie recipe and it is really, really good. First up, I gotta put some oat milk. I usually just put like one or two ounces of oat milk. Not too much. And I just, I honestly don't even measure it. I just eyeball it. And then I put some greens. These are just like organic spring mix, but they have some like spinach mixed in there. Can't really taste it, so you might as well get in some of those greens. I put about three fourths of a cup of frozen blueberries. I'm gonna put more today than I usually would because I usually like to put in half a banana, but we're out of bananas, so I need more blueberries. Okay, this is what's gonna make this smoothie taste good. It's this like organic peanut butter protein powder that Rocky and I got from Costco and it tastes so good. It's basically protein powder, but like peanut butter typically has more sugar. So it has like less sugar, more protein. And this is like what gives it the flavor. I'm putting two tablespoons of that. And then I don't do this all the time, but when I want to treat, I will sometimes put chocolate powder. This is no sugar added chocolate powder from Coffee Bean and this mixed in with the peanut butter is so good. So I'll usually put a, tea, a tablespoon of that. And that's pretty much it. Finished product. I usually don't like a lot of smoothies, so I would say this is probably like four to six ounces. I'm just guessing, but it tastes really good. It tastes like a peanut butter chocolate like shake or something like that. Mm. Third zoom of the day. I have my Holocaust in the air world zoom starting in four minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log on early and just turn off my camera. Usually for this class, we have our synchronous zoom on Thursdays, but we're having a special guest lecturing today. So we have our zoom today, which works out actually better because we have our midterm due on Sunday. So that gives me more time on Thursday to work on that. It is so cold in my house, you guys. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what time is it? 5.17. After this class, I need to go to Target because I ran out of my Curology facial cleanser this morning. So I need to go get some cleanser because I really only use my Curology one unless I run out of that. And I don't believe my next Curology package is gonna be coming until like the first or second week of February. I feel like I haven't talked about my reading at all in this vlog, but the book that I'm reading this book is this week is Water Runs Red by Jenna Clark. I am 108 pages into it and I'm really liking it. One of the really cool aspects of it is it has a lot of like digital art that she designed herself. So that's really, really cool. I actually saw her documentary. She has a YouTube channel and she posted an hour long documentary like leading up to the release of this poetry collection where she takes you through the process of her creating it so I think it's really cool if you want to check it out. Um, her channel is just called Jenna Clark and it's really cool especially being able to finally read the work just to see like the behind the scenes because she like basically did everything by herself. It was self-published so. All right class starts in one minute. I am gonna join this lecture and I will see you guys after. I just finished class and I got an exciting package in the mail from Nail Addict. They sent me over a couple of their nail polishes to try out, so I'm really, really excited. They're this uh, nail polish company that's based in Los Angeles, which is really, really cool. So I already opened up the package. First thing in here is a mini UV LED lamp, which I'm so excited to try out because I've never used a LED lamp. As you guys know, I love doing my nails at home. It's just so much fun. So I'm really excited to try them out. Here is the package. And they just sent me over a couple of their gel nail polishes to try out. So the first one is this like bright orange color. This one is in the shade electric orange. The next one is this like red color in the shade BFF. Ooh, I'm really excited to try this one. This one's called Paradise Fiesta. Pretty sure this is like a bright yellow, like a 
fun summery yellow. You guys know how much I love my yellow nails. And then, of course, a classic white nail. We love that. This one's in the shade White Addict. And then last but not least, they also sent over a top coat to just seal it and make it look nice. So I'm really excited to try all of these out as well as the mini UV light. I'll go ahead and link Nail Addict down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Their nail polishes are cruelty free and chemical free, which I love. We just love brands that are are healthy and sustainable so can't wait to try them out stay tuned for my future vlogs for when i try these out thank you so much chanel attic for sending these over i legit just spent four hours straight up doing math homework and my brain is fried so now we're gonna go to target because i didn't go last night i was just too tired to get that facial cleanser i'm gonna come home take a break like a short one have lunch and then it's gonna be right back to working on midterms i have a math review session at five today so i need to go to that later but yeah it's just like another very busy day i'm just trying to get through this week because mentally i know i will feel much better once once this week is passed. I'm gonna listen to I Love You So Much podcast by Kenzie Elizabeth. I love this podcast and I'm listening to the episode. It's kind of more of a backlisted episode. The one with Gretchen Garrity because I'm quite behind on a lot of my podcasts recently. Actually, you know what? Gals on the Go, which is like my favorite, my number one favorite podcast, they just released an episode. So then I'm gonna listen to that one instead and then I'll finish the Gretchen Garrity episode like later. Thank you for listening to this Podcast One production. Now available on Apple podcast podcast for one spotify and anywhere else you get your podcast I ended up getting the neutrogena facial cleanser this is the hydro boost hydrating cleansing gel i really love this one and i saw it at target and i was like i miss this one i haven't used this cleanser in such a long time it's one of my favorites i just finished all my work for today and i think i want to pull out this i haven't used this in such a long time this is my accord thorns and roses coloring book and I think I want to do this page. I got this like years ago and I like only colored in it like once over a summer where I went to um, Mauritania and I was really bored. But I want to do some coloring in here. I think I'm going to use my Tombow Dual brush pens. These will be really good to color because they're like kind of like watercolor pens. So I think it'll look really good. But I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to shower, do this while I watch some legacies, maybe catch up on my subscription box because I haven't done that in a while and I just think coloring is really good for like de-stressing and stuff. Good morning and happy Thursday this morning. I've had a really slow morning, slept in a little bit, enjoyed more morning because I have no classes this morning. I only have one class later today at three. So I am gonna go head to Trader Joe's because we kind of need to stock up. We're out of oat milk, we're out of a lot of stuff before I have my late breakfast this morning. But this is my fit for today. Super comfy, I'm wearing my sweatpants. They're from Fila. This uh, crew neck is from Target it and on the back it actually says New York you guys can't see but it says New York on it and then underneath I'm wearing a white turtleneck because it is freezing it is just so cold recently it's been in like the 50s which is like new from California Southern California and then my crinkle cotton hijab is from Veiled Collection I've been listening to Ninth House for the past week and I'm on chapter 19 I'm not gonna lie I'm not enjoying it as much as a lot of people other people that read the book I don't know I've just been a really disappointed and I feel like I should have probably DNF'd it like earlier on in the book but at this point I have around like seven hours left or like three and a half hours since I listened to it on two times speed so I'm figuring let me just like finish the book because I'm already like this far in you know and I have the physical book because the cover is absolutely stunning I honestly don't regret buying it because it is so so beautiful like look how aesthetic that is I really really wanted to like this book and the premise of it sounded like something that I would really like it's supposed to be like a dark academia vibed book it's about this girl who goes to Yale and how she discovers that there are secret societies and like there are ghosts and stuff and so I think I 
probably will reread it because I think the reason why I'm not enjoying it is because I kind of got lost in the audiobook and I honestly just like don't even understand like what's going on or like what I'm not piecing the plot together well in my mind when I'm listening to the audiobooks especially since I listen to audiobooks at night usually like when I'm falling asleep so like I'll miss portions of audiobooks sometimes because I'll fall asleep because I have it on a sleep timer so I don't know we'll see I'm gonna try and finish the book just because I'm that far in like I have about like a little less than 200 pages left so I might as well just finish it but I'm not enjoying it and I'm very disappointed but I feel like part of it is you know just like because I'm listening to it on audiobook and because I'm not really understanding what's going on but who knows I got a lot from Trader Joe's and I was too lazy to do a haul so here's a quick overview of everything that I got from Trader Joe's I'm having a snack before class starts. You guys, this is so good. It's a rice cake with light cream cheese on it with a ton of like the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning on top. So, so good. It tastes like a talkie, literally. Let me put something on for you guys. The Trader Joe's almond and coconut creamer is bomb. I just made it. I made literally just a, an espresso shot, oat milk, and then like a little bit of the coconut creamer almond coconut creamer and it is so good it's like this vanilla creamer and it literally tastes like i'm drinking a vanilla latte with like this a splash of creamer it is so good you guys need to go check it out i got it from trader joe's for i think like two dollars for that little carton so if i can find it in bulk somewhere else or just like if i can find a in bulk version i'm definitely gonna get it but wow this is like changing the game I'm about to film my January wrap up so I'm gonna go ahead and end this college week in my life here. If you guys stayed up until this point comment down below what is one thing that you guys like to do to kind of decompress and just like help you relax when you're stressed out. For me this week it was uh, as you guys saw coloring. Also if you guys are not already subscribed make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you I didn't want to believe my feelings for you I didn't want to believe that I could lose you If I told you